This is children from Syria living in camps because Bashar al-Assad bombing their homes and displaced them. Despite that, they trying to be happy and watch uh, the World Cup mat matches. What do you think about that? What you can say for them? I, mean, I know very little about the political situation in Syria, um, but it's nice that the kids can, can play football and um, hopefully get some enjoyment from the game. It obviously looks very difficult with the, the conditions they have um, caused by outside forces. It's nice they can watch the World Cup and hopefully be inspired by some of the players they've seen on the television. Well, hopefully they can fulfil their dreams one day and come to a World Cup either to watch or to play. I don't know how realistic that is. Possibly not very realistic, but um, it's nice to have dreams and hopefully one day they can, they can see what, what we're seeing here. This short movie about Syrian children losing everything because war, because Bashar al-Assad army bombing their, their, bombing their, their homes, and no, 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 no political. That's just a message for these children. What you can say to 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 them? I hope that there will be peace for everybody, also for their children. I come from a country. My parents were from 1923 and 1924. And we had in Holland the World War II eh, with Germany. And uh, we hope that war everywhere will stop. How we can uh, help this, uh, these children? Imagine that you can save them now. What do you say to them? I will say to everything, peace in the world. That's the best message for everyone. Yeah. We have to, uh, if you want to fight against each other, do it by football in the stadiums. That's better than war. Yeah? Thank you. I think it's a big problem in this uh, in the world because uh, the children uh, have been a big dreams and you know uh, now we are here enjoying the the matches the moment but uh, someone has having the the opportunity for enjoy this so it's so sad but um, I'm hopeless uh, some uh, someday they can, uh, can uh, make come true their dreams. This is uh, the, the bad side of the world and I hope uh, all the things can be better someday. Uh, they have to, to be brave. I know the situation in Syria is very difficult, so I hope they can still watch football. I hope football can be something uh, good for them. Uh, something uh, that can change their their life in general. So maybe that football is the only thing that they have, and they believe in football, and they it's may make them happy. So because of that, they play a lot, and maybe believe to be a, a good player, a good football player. In this, uh, this uh, children don't have anything. They didn't uh, have a good food home. Uh, they living in, in in camp, just just a simple camp. But they trying to having a nice life, normal life. What we can say to them? No, that is is really difficult. They have a lot of uh, problems, but I think like it's very important to them to to be happy and to enjoy uh, the only that they have. Imagine that now you can see these children in coming. What you can say to them? No, it's like my friend say, it's very, very difficult to say something good to them because like you say as before, they don't have nothing, they lost everything. So maybe if they can watch his uh, superstar in football, like I don't know, in our case Lionel Messi, but maybe they can be inspired for them. But a part of that is very, very difficult to say, you know? Because the world, they don't have anything now to do. We should to, to, to make them learn we should to how do you think we can help them wow it's a tough question that but uh, maybe the, the association of football maybe they can do like a big effort to them and try to do or try to bring some solution to them but yeah maybe for the for us it's very very difficult to do something for them you know we don't have nothing to 
to help them. We don't they, we don't have the power to to go and try to do something for them. But I don't know. Maybe the this is gonna show the social media. And maybe some people have the power. They can do something for them. But yeah, I know I'm very very sad about it. Like you are telling me because we know the situation back there and uh, we know all the these uh, kids are suffering for all the stuff and they are going through. But yeah, it's very very tough to do something. Thank you so much. Thank you. First of all, uh, where are you from? Yes, we are from Argentina. This is uh, Syrian children losing everything, everything because Bashar al-Assad army bombing their homes and displayed them, and forced forced them to to to, to leave the, uh, their own uh, country. Despite that, they trying to be happy and and trying to watch uh, the matches of World Cup. What do you think about that? What what the message you can say to them? I think that that is sad, but it happens everywhere. For example, now in Argentina, we are not so good politically, and they take advantage of the World Cup. This is in Syria in this case. World Cup is like hope for the children, something different, escape from reality. How we can help them? What do you think? Well. Uh, I don't know political issues here in this continent, so I can I don't have a voice. But I hate when it's necessary force to to make things. Imagine now you can see these children in uh, coming. What do you say to them? No, I will say them that they should keep playing football and watching the World Cup because uh, doing sport I think that is super healthy. We both like and love football. That's why we are here. We travel 17 hours. Uh, we left our family, girlfriend, friends, everything to come here and support Argentina. And it's because we trust in football, we trust in sport, and we love it. So that's why we, we came to here. And as he was saying, we don't know which are the, like the political issues and all those things uh, or what is happening. Uh, but I will say to them that they should keep playing football or soccer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.